Those are the walls I've been working on. This isn't gonna be a uh, leather video. It's gonna be a tractor video. Or kinda tractor video. I gotta uh, ask my fellow, I got some work I'm gonna be doing. for the wifey so I gotta ask a few uh, questions to my uh, tractor friends out there and uh, hopefully I can get some answers uh, so I can proceed here I don't want to try anything without seeing uh, if you guys can comment and give me some feedback Yeehaw! so I gotta uh, move my boat in the driveway I hope it's hooked up. I think I'm gonna pull it. I think I'm gonna pull it out to the road, up the road, over through my neighbor's driveway. put the boat cover on. Uh, I think there's some trees and I want to get some stuff in there. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to put the, uh, the three point hitch on. I think I'm gonna do instead of having this thing all flopping all over the place. For now, I think I'm just gonna strap it to here. bungee cord just to hold in place until I strap it. I don't know if I have a long enough strap. So 
what do you think? I should pretty, pretty much hold it. <laughs> Got the tractor all set. So the plans are, you can see in front of our deck we had to rip out uh, some bushes there that died on us. But you see that big, you guys see that big pinkish looking one? Yeah, I'm drawing a blank what the name of it is. But anyways, all these yellow ones I'm pulling out. So I wanted to shoot this video out because I wanted to ask you guys how would you go about doing it? Being that my B2650 over there doesn't have a backhoe. Uh, so the plan is to I want to replant these things. If we, some of them, if we lose a couple, big deal, because I'm only going to need a few in front of the deck. And then uh, once we get them planted, I'm going to shape them so it's kind of nice. So over here, uh, I was thinking about taking the, uh, the front end loader and wrapping a chain around it. And then going down into wrapping the chain around the roots. Now we just planted these last year so I'm hoping that if I pull I put a chain there and take the front end loader and lift them up and see if they'll pull right out so I need your uh, your opinions on that because we do want to replant we're gonna plant them really close to one another so it's really gonna be filled in so we can shape them and have something in front of our, our deck so plan is is that go back to that big pink tree purple pink we got we planted that last year and we got uh, four more of those coming and they're like three and a half inch trunks and they're like 12 feet tall my tractor really had a hard time moving those moving that one the last time I had forks on my tractor and it was but I'm gonna ask you guys opinion on that too about how to transport those things they're getting delivered next week so we got four more of those and then we got two big uh, God I, I feel dumb not knowing all the names of these trees but I'll show you the trees when we get them but we got two big ones that are gonna go way in that corner over there and then in this corner and then the other four are going to be in the middle of the fence here so the plan was is to replant all these yellow ones pull them out and replant them and being that I don't have a backhoe to dig these humongous holes for the uh, the big trees that got coming I was going to use the auger I was going to drill down several spots all the way around and then dig out the middle, I think. And so I wanted you guys to get your opinion on that as well. So putting on the uh, postal digger went smoother than what I thought. I really thought I was going to need another person. But it went good and I got it strapped down. And I think that's going to help with the, uh, the weight because uh, when I got delivered out of that big tree last year, the, the front end loader was going down the, the wheels were coming off the ground until we got it down low enough to the ground where it was barely skimming the ground it wasn't coming off the ground but I put that I didn't have the post hole digger on there the last time so I'm hoping that's going to add some weight to it and um, then I got those bolt on forks so I wanted to get this video out because I wanted to see what you guys thought about that. See what you guys think about me doing that. And the reason why I moved the, uh, the boat is because, again, I got some mixture being delivered for these trees. So, I know my yard is a mess. Our new golden retriever is peeing all over the place. We, got, we finally got her to go on the rocks. 
so hopefully I'm gonna reseed and do all kinds of stuff all right till the next time looking for your comments to see what your thoughts were until the next time I guess I'll catch you on the next one peace